Rosh Hashanah literally means head of the year, the new year. But biblically, it's much more than that. In the book of Leviticus, it's called Yom Teruah, the day of the blowing of trumpets or ram's horn, the judgment day. The only commandment during Rosh Hashanah is actually to hear the sound of the shofar. Okay. And so everybody gathering in the synagogue to hear the sound of the shofar. It's something that people connect to their soul to hear the sound of the shofar. The piercing sound of the shofar is meant to remind the hearers to repent of their sins and to make things right with their brothers and sisters. The rabbis say that reconciliation with God and man confounds the enemy. A shofar is a musical instrument made from a horn. This is the oldest uh, musical instrument. And the Jewish Orthodox who have a committee to hear the sound of the shofar during a new year, the, our uh, ju judgment day. As part of a two-family business, Eli Ribach is a third-generation shofar maker. The process is uh, poly grinding, polishing, then we open a mouthpiece. This is a uh, quick, but it's a lot of experience and a lot of hand uh, work because each horn is a different size, different thickness. So you have to be experienced to make a good shofar. The ram's horn is used as the traditional shofar because when Abraham showed his willingness to sacrifice his son Isaac, God provided a ram to be used in his place. It's actually all type of horns are kosher except of a cow. That's because the Jewish people don't want to remind God of the time Israel worshiped the golden calf in the wilderness. Besides the distinctive tones of the different horns, there are three different blasts sounded. The shofar is blown in synagogues and at the Western Wall each morning for a month before the holiday to give plenty of time for repentance. You and I both know that uh, we need a lot of reminders in our daily life to repent, to think of the things of God. It's like an alarm clock for the soul. Reebok says it's not just Jewish people who blow the shofar. We sell the shofar all over the world. We sell it to Jewish, to Christian, uh, Messianic people, evangelist people. Rosh Hashanah is the feast of the seventh month, but in Jewish tradition represents the new year. At the coronation of the kings of Israel, the shofars would blow. They would announce the new king or they would announce the coming of the king. Oftentimes in the Christian world, shofars are blown throughout the entire year. But in Judaism and in Jewish practice, those shofars are only blown for a very limited time throughout the year, during this time, the month of Elul and Rosh Hashanah. Boaz Michael, founder of First Fruits of Zion, says that's a foreshadow for those who believe in Yeshua, Jesus. And they tell us something, they're speaking to us, they're reminding us of something. And one of the things they're reminding us of is the creation of the world, the coming of the King, King Messiah one day at this time, uh, the coronation of his kingdom here on earth. This is what the shofar is to remind us of, and it's, it speaks to us every day when we hear that sound. Now, and the children of the kingdom, as was asked here, the children of the kingdom are the Jews. And they were cast into outer darkness. And they we have been cast into outer darkness. And they went through the time of the weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. They were cast into outer darkness because it would give you and I a space to repent. But they were never cast out of the mind of God. He'll never forget Israel. 
And Israel, as any a reader of the Bible knows, is referred to the children of the kingdom. It's the kingdom, the promise. In other words, God dealing with the nation when he dealt with Israel, which is the children of the kingdom. Now, you remember he said there, and Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in one place would come and set into the kingdom at the end time. See? And at Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob would be in the kingdom. They were. They were the kingdom blessing people. We're at the end. And the judgments of God is at hand. When this entire world can be annihilated. Two or three minutes. That's right. Sinner friend, think of that tonight. And get it way down in the soul. And I pray that our blessed Heavenly Father, the Lord Jesus, will come tonight to this little group. And if there be a sinner here, that you'll repent of your sins, my friend. For you'll hear the gospel the last time, one of these days or nights, and this might be it. We don't know just what. The great ships are out in the seas with their missiles headed towards each other, just waiting for that strike off. The Jews are congregating out in Israel. Ishmael and Isaac's at one another's throat. Everything the scripture said to be fulfilled is now at hand. The gospel has been preached. Oh, yes, Christ has vindicated. The Gentile days is finished. We're washing up right now.